Hello YouTube, this is my first video in a while and this video I'm going to explain exactly what happened on that video that is named you closed the doors the door in my face so I have as I have stated in my description the most important and time in that video are the first seven seconds so let's examine the first seven seconds I will mute the sound I will set a playback speed to 25% and let's look at those first seven seconds of that video and see exactly what happened so you can see there is a person coming on the mirror and the camera is capturing all of the time seeing and I can see even wider than the camera so I can see even more than what's on the screen so at this point I'm not looking at my right hand side mirror I'm looking at my left hand side mirror because I have just stopped the bus you can see the door is just about to open it's still closed so I am now turning my attention towards my mirror and toward the passenger that is about to come inside the bus so I'm turning my head towards them the door is opening I can see I'm looking at the mirror you can see a passenger here and a passenger here and this person this gentleman is just about to come inside the bus so the door opens he steps inside and I can see other person <coughs> that is walking toward the front of the bus so the first gentleman just comes in taps his cart and goes toward the back of the bus I can see that person is right next to the front door on my white mirror I'm not going to comment about my mirrors all I will say is that I have better visibility than most of the drivers if I keep my mirrors that way and there is not a single rule that states that the mirrors are upside down so there is no such a rule don't make it up guys that's just how the companies wants to believe things are supposed to be there is the reasons they are not for this video this video is about you close the door in my face statement about that passenger so I can still see him I'm looking at the mirror I can see him on the bottom mirror I can see him on the top mirror this gentleman just tapped his cart and now he's just going to take a seat just like any other passengers will do then here comes the next person I'm still looking towards him I'm still looking towards my mirror if anybody else is coming I can still see him in the mirror I can still see him next to the door the door is open it has not moved this whole time so now he steps inside the bus I wave him and you will notice he looks back behind his back now he looks behind his back because he have heard the hissing noise of the doors mechanism activated and you can hear many things you can hear many things in the dark in the light behind your back on your sides you can hear them but you will never have the full picture if you don't look at them now he have looked at the door he can he can see this door is not closed it have not moved it's still open it just hissed so he heard something he turned to check about the full picture with his eyes it's a good thing you have to always check with your eyes so you can get not the full picture but to actually get a picture because your ears can only hear they cannot see pictures so let's continue so now at this point he's inside the bus you can see the door is still open the door is not closing now I'm turning my attention because yes I'm assuming that he will just tap his cart and take a seat and I'm not paying attention to him anymore because I have to get ready to depart I will be departing slowly without harsh acceleration so I don't risk throwing people out of balance it's very important when you're driving something some vehicle in service to 
not accelerate harshly because it can throw people a lot of balance and not all of them they don't know that you're accelerating harshly so they are not prepared for it so if they are not prepared for it know that when you're departing so on this point on he's inside the bird door is open so let's go to normal speed and unmute the video so what i do i check my mirrors the door just closed the door is now already closed i'm checking my mirror getting ready to depart and look the speed at which i'm departing i'm departing very very slow no harsh acceleration and this passenger he's pointing towards his eyes which means he wants me to tell me something that I have to see. So let's see what he have to say. He asked me, did you see the mirror? And yes, my dude, I was looking the mirror for the seven seconds, even longer before you came onto the bus. He asked me a second time, did you see the mirror when I come in? What happened? Then I asked him, because at this point, I am frustrated because I know that he is not on this bus to just travel. He is on this bus to make an argument with me, to start arguing, which I am not going to argue with a passenger. I have no intention of arguing with a passenger. I am here to drive the bus, I am here to move people safely. If you want to have an argument with me, you will be having that argument outside of the bus, not inside. I will close the doors and you can stay there and argue with the bus stop or the pavement. I don't care with what you're arguing. You're not gonna be inside the bus having arguments. On this bus that I was driving, there is no arguments. Close the door in my face. So now he makes a statement, close the door in my face. At this point, what do you think I have to respond? Some people say you have to apologize. So the problem with apologizing is that he have already lied. He already falsely accused me of something I have not done. And now he just accused me of, you closed the door in my face. Did I? Now I am asking. That's not a question that I'm doing. That's not a question. You can tell from my tone that I'm not asking a question. I'm not curious. At this point, I am just assertive. And you have to be assertive because you are the person in charge of that bus. And if you are the person in charge of that bus, if you start apologizing to anyone that falsely accuses you of something, one day they will accuse you that you have murdered a person and you will have to apologize again. One day they will accuse you that you hit a child with your bus and you will have to apologize again. So no. When they falsely accuse you of something, don't apologize. Stand your ground, be assertive and prove that you are the person in charge of that bus and prove that you know what you are doing. And at this point, I know what exactly what I am doing. And not what I am doing, I know exactly what I will be doing. So, because he lied and he falsely accused me, I need that person out of the bus and I need him out of the bus because he already said lies about me one time. There is nothing that can stop him from telling lies about me a second time. Nothing can stop him. He can lie and he have proven already one time that he will, he, he will lie. So I'm not going to wait for him to lie again. Please leave the bus. So I told him to leave the bus because that is the safest thing for me and for everyone on board because you never know, he may start saying lies about some other passenger on the bus, he may start arguing with passengers, you never know, like when they lie, you don't know what happens next, there is nothing, nothing that can stop them from keep lying. Please leave the bus because I don't feel safe driving with you on board no why i don't feel safe i don't feel safe because he have lied about me once he have falsely accused me of closing the doors once 
There is nothing stopping him from doing it again. That's why I don't feel safe driving with him on board. Thank you. You closed the, the door on my face. I don't... No, he makes the same statement. You closed the door on my face. I never closed it on his face. The door closed after he was inside the bus. At this point, I'm telling him, you're being recorded. The camera is right in your face with a red light flashing. You can see it. Maybe keep your words reasonable and don't lie because I am recording you. As I told you, if you have any complaints about that, raise them with TFL and the mayor of London. As far as I'm concerned, I don't feel driving safe with you on board at the moment. So I tell him to, if he have any complaints, raise them with the TFL. TFL can deal with you. I as a bus driver am not supposed to argue with people and I'm not going to argue with him at all. There is not gonna be an argument. I am not paid enough money to have arguments with people and deal with people. They don't pay me enough as a bus driver to do that. So I'm not going to. So please leave the bus. I have the video. You can complain to anyone you like. I tell him that he's on video. I have the video from prior. And he can complain to anyone he likes. And I just tell him, please leave the bus. That's it. And yes, as a bus driver, I don't have the authority to tell people to leave the bus. I don't have the right. The TFL doesn't permit you to ask people to leave the bus. Even if they have no ticket, you, you're not allowed to ask them. There is some... Probably if they are carrying alcohol, you can deny them. That's what you're supposed to do because they're breaking social rules and the TFL policies and stuff like that. And when they falsely accuse you of something, then you are also in danger yourself. So you have to all... So in that scenario, also deny them travel because you are in danger because they can say more lies about you and you can get in trouble and you don't want to be... Well, if you want to be in trouble, let them travel. Tell them, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I will never do that again. I was a naughty boy, but I will not be a naughty boy anymore. You have my respect. You're the person with authority on that bus. You're the big boss on that bus. You're the passenger that pays 175 and from now on I will listen to only your word. Your word is gonna be the law in that bus and I'm gonna be just driving and doing whatever you tell me when you pay that 175 So some drivers like it that way. If you like it that way, I respect that. But I don't like it that way. I'm in charge of that bus and for 175 you cannot tell me anything. So let's continue. I'm telling you I did not close the door at your face. So here again, I'm telling him I did not close the door. So because you're lying. Now I'm telling him that he's lying. So at this point he has to be aware that he's telling lies and he have to maintain his composure. He have to be reasonable. Otherwise, I am the person in charge and I can escalate that as much as I want to escalate it from here on because he lied. So let's continue watching. I don't have a point to have argument with you. Okay. I have a point with the bus or the public. I'm telling you, you close the face. I didn't fight with you. I've been nice with you. No, he's again claiming the same thing. You close in face. You close the door in my face. Okay. So he have been also nice with me. He claims I have been nice with you. So telling lies, falsely accusing people, that means that you are nice with them. Good logic, good logic, excellent logic. And there is many people in the comments that support his opinion that telling lies about people and falsely accusing people, it's being nice with them. There is people in the comment section that support that. You can see those comments on that video. So let's continue watching. If you have problem, it's not my problem. I told you, you are lying. Because you are lying. Okay, you lie. Now he accuses me again that I'm lying. That's a second false accusation against me. 
he falsely accuses me that I am lying. So, you can see that this person is nothing but trouble. And not everybody can judge a person from their body language and their behavior. But I can judge people like when you are dealing with hundreds of people, sometimes thousands every day, you start to notice some body language. And I have also been trained to notice body language. Like I am trained in terrorist awareness. I am trained in physically handling people. I'm I'm trained in that stuff. And I'm trained by a government agency. I'm trained by actual police officers and to do that like I'm trained by people that have been dealing with criminals and not just criminals, all sorts of people on all sorts of event, football matches, hooligans, those people knew and they trained me how to do that, how to spot those people. So I spotted that this person is going to cause trouble. So I knew it. So that's why I was so assertive with him. Okay. okay, I have it on video. Do you want okay, me to show you? Do, you want. do you want I me to show you? I spoke with you nice. I speak with you nice. So he's telling I spoke with you nice. Well, once again, he's saying, saying that if you falsely accuse people of lying and falsely accuse them of closing the door in your face, you're being nice to them. Yeah. If you have something here? No, he points to his head and says, if you have something here, that's your problem. Your problem. Okay. Before you accuse somebody? So. We can see that this person is obviously not here just to travel. He is not interested in tapping his card and taking a seat. Now he's going to take a seat. He tapped his card, he's taking a seat. But why did you spend over a minute arguing with me about something that I have never done, falsely accusing me? If he have just shut up, not said anything and take a seat, he will have traveled on that bus with no problems. But no, you have to confront the driver. You have to say lies about the driver. You have to go and start distracting the driver with your bullshit. So no, I don't tolerate such things. And the sad reality is YouTube comments, you can see that a lot of people, they, they support, they support that behavior. They approve of that behavior. They believe that is the correct thing to do. You can see the comments. The driver have to just apologize. The driver have to be sucked. You can see those comments. They are there. The people, they approve of lying. They approve of falsely accusing people. So that's the video. Uh, I'm not driving with you on board. So obviously I tell him I'm not driving with you on board. I make a, after this I made an announcement on the announcement system in the bus and passengers some of the passengers tell him the driver did not close the door in your face so the gentleman just left a few minutes maybe two minutes later he left it's not on the video but he did left and i did continue with my journey so that's the end of that video and there is something else that i would like to share like this week last weekend in the beginning of this month i quit my job i re did resigned i created a video about it the video is going to be uploaded next week it was very unfair thing and the, the company that i was working with it was okay company like th there was potential about that company there are some bright people in that company but the people that i had to deal with those people, they, they were not progressive people. Those were people that they were assigned a role by somebody and they were following that role to the letter. They, they had no, no potential. Those people have no potential to see anything beyond the box that they were put in. So in my next video, I'm going to upload next week. I explain why I resigned, why I had to delete my videos on my channel and i will upload those videos again plus many more i'm going to be uploading i'm going to be creating some new ones as well but yeah guys now i'm going to take maybe 10 days maybe two weeks just to recover from the whole ordeal because the company literally threatened me with taking me to court but you can see more about that in my next video 
for, for now just stay safe take care and i will see you in the next one guys